Uh, next, why should I choose a focus? Now, this is a very important one. You should always answer why. I put here, I will choose a focus to become an expert in a craft of my choice, also to place my brand in a position of power to claim a higher price and desire. The re- main benefit of this is essentially to differentiate yourself from the rest. If I'm known as the Wick workshop wizard for creative entrepreneurs, how many others are out there doing that? I'm sure there's a handful, but not many. Versus saying, oh, I just do remote workshops for everyone. That way it's like, oh, well, then there's a million of us. Maybe not a million, but at least thousands. Uh, another example would be, for instance, one of my clients. Oh, we're a screen printing business. Okay, well, how many screen printing businesses are there? Tons of them. But then you say, oh, I'm a screen printing business for uh, restaurants. Yeah, okay, it's a little better, but there's I'm sure there's still plenty of screen printing businesses who also do restaurants. And when you have lots of competition, most likely your clients will be shopping on price and not looking at the value. Now, if that same screen printing business says, we do screen printing for established restaurants with at least three to five locations with a well-defined brand who want to have a new revenue stream of creating merchandise, that's what we do. Now it's very more specific. Now you've narrowed on that field of restaurants. Like, okay, if you don't have three to five locations, you're gone. Now we have this little mark. Now you want to actually make merchandise, selling t-shirts or hats or whatever to basically have an extra revenue stream for your brand. Now it's very specific or even more specific. We only do merchandise for pop-up restaurants. Wow. That's how many screen printing businesses do that? I don't know. But the idea is to be very specific. The more specific, the better.